Welcome to another video. Here we have something I would call an exponential equation, but it's still a fraction form equation or rational form equation. We can call it a rational equation because these are not polynomials, the exponential expressions. So, what can you see just by looking at it? Because that's the key to solving this problem. If you look at the top, something in your mind is telling you that 8 is the cube of 2 and 27 is the cube of 3. So whatever we're doing will have to do with 2 and 3. If you look at the bottom, your mind is telling you that mm, this is 4 and 3, 4 times 3, and 4 is still a power of 2. So it makes sense. This is 18, which is 2 times 9. Yeah, and it's just a combination of 2 and 3s. So it is just reasonable for you to think that whatever you're doing will have to do with 2s and 3s. And that would be the key to solving this. Let's get into the video. So because of the observation I already made, I am going to rewrite every number in terms of 2 and 3 and see what I can get out of it. Okay, so I'm going to say that what I have on top is going to be 2 cubed raised to power x plus. This is going to be 3 cubed raised to power x divided by, this is going to be 2 no, it's going to be 2 squared times 3. You see that? Raised to power x. And this is going to be 2 times 3 squared. Raised to power x. And the answer is 7 over 6. Okay? That was my first move. And it's a good move because now I can pull this x inside and take the 3 outside. You can decide to write this as 2 to the x cubed. Now we have it. Plus, this is going to be 3 to the x cubed. Because you see, you can multiply these two and you get 3x and then you switch them. And under we have, I'm going to put the x in here, it's going to be 2 to the x squared times 3 to the x. That's it. Plus, here I have 2 to the x, and here I have 3 to the x, but squared. And I still have 7 over 6. What I'm going to do is make my life easy. I'm going to replace 2 to the x with another variable, 3 to the x is another variable. So I'm just going to have two variables here instead of one, but it will make things a lot easier. So we're going to say let, um, I'm going to pick ta -da -da, u and v. Let u be equal to 2 to the x. And let v be equal to 3 to the x. So I'm going to rewrite the whole of this. I'm going to have this is going to be u cubed plus v cubed. So I have u cubed plus v cubed u squared times v plus u times v squared. u times v squared equals 7 over 6. I can clearly see something already. This is the sum of two cubes we can have a factor that is u plus v. So we can write this, if you factor the top, you're going to have u plus v multiplied by u squared minus uv plus v squared. That's the factored form of the top. And the bottom is going to be what's common. uv is common to both of them. So we have uv times, this is going to be u plus v. Okay. Ta-da-da! -da. This is equal to 7 over 6. Now this can cancel this out. 
so that what we have, let's cancel these out. Let's see if this shows. Tap, tap. So we have u squared minus uv plus v squared over uv will be equal to 7 over 6. Now, what is on top contains this also. So, should we split? It's not going to help us splitting. So, I think if we cross multiply, we might end up with something that can be factored. We might, okay? And if we can factor it, then it, it saves us. So, what we're going to do is cross multiply. We're going to end up with 6u squared minus, you know what? Because I don't want to repeat this line, I'm going to multiply this also by 6. So this is going to be um, plus 6v squared. When I multiply this way, I'm going to get 7uv, but I'm going to bring the 7uv back. This 6 is going to multiply this, so we'll end up with negative 6uv minus 7uv. That's negative 13uv. And what you have here is going to be 0. Okay, this step, I want you to do it yourself. Cross multiply, you have 7uv here. You're going to have 6 of this minus 6 of this plus 6 of this. Now bring the 7 here. Minus 7 minus 6 is going to be minus 13 in the middle. And that's what you have. Can you factor this? Yes. How do we do it? We need to find two numbers whose product is 36 and the sum is negative 13. There are not many options. <laughs> we only have 9 and 4. Those are the two numbers, negative 9 and negative 4. So we're going to replace this with negative 9 and negative 4. So I'm going to rewrite this as 6u squared minus 9uv minus 4uv plus 6v squared equals 0. So if I take the first two, I can actually take out what's common to these two. 3u, I think. So you have 3u, you have 2u minus 3v. Okay. And as you can see, 2 and 3 are showing up. Okay. And then we go here, what, what's common? We got 2v. This is going to negative 2v. And then you have 2u minus, that's going to be 3v equals zero. So by factoring 3u minus 2v equals zero or 2u minus 3v equals zero. So here we go. Let's pull this out this way. So from here we can say that 3u minus 2v is equal to zero. And we also have 2u minus 3v equals zero. 2u minus 3v is equal to 0. So what do we do here? We should make fractions, because in this case, only fractions can save us. We can't try to do anything fancy. Okay? So, um, ta-da-da! We can say that 3u is equal to 2v, so if you divide both sides by 2u, now whenever you want to make a fraction out of things like this, you pick something from here and pick something from here. So if you divide both sides by 2u, you're going to end up with 3 over 2 equals v over u. Nice. Okay. And the same thing here, we're going to say that 2u equals 3v, and that means that if we divide both sides by 3u, we're going to get 2 over 3 equals v over u. It's just a flip. So this one is flipped, this one is not. Okay, so let's see. What exactly was u? We said u is 2 to the x and v is 3 to the x. So for this one, we have 3 over 2 is equal to v over u, that's going to be 3 over 2 raised to the power x. 
3 over 2 raised to power x. And we can clearly see that this must be 1. x is 1. So that means x is equal to 1. Let's go here. 2 over 3 is equal to v over u. But what is v? v is 3. And this is 2, so that's going to be 3 over 2 raised to power x. But remember that we just cannot see it. Whenever you have this, you can flip the fraction inside and change this exponent to negative. Okay, let's take one more step. So we can say that 2 over 3 is equal to 2 over 3 raised to power negative x. So that means the power here, 1, equals negative x, which means x equals negative 1. So we've got two possible solutions. x is in the set, negative 1 and 1. Actually, these are the solutions. I'm going to do a quick check to see if my answers are correct, both 1 and negative 1. Because if it is 1, I have 8 plus 27, that's going to be 35, and this is going to be um, 12 plus 18, that's going to be 30. 35 over 30 is 7 over 6, that's correct. But if it's negative 1, okay, I checked the answers, they're both correct. But both x, x equals 1 and x equals minus 1. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.